Hey everyone, so let's talk about something I've been asked a lot in the past couple of weeks, and that is, did your home espresso setup change? Well, the answer is yes, and I'm here to explain why. So what I've got to show you here today is the Ranchilio Silvia Pro along with the Ranchilio Rocky Grinder. Now for full disclosure, I did get sent both of these pieces of equipment from Ranchilio, but I am super impressed by them and super excited to show them off to you. All right, so the first thing we've got here is the Silvia Pro. This is an updated model from a machine they have been making for many, many years. It's absolutely stunning. I love the minimalistic design. It's got dual boilers, which is amazing for someone who steams milk quite frequently like I do, and it's all around a beautiful performing machine. The other piece I've got here is a similar matching grinder. This is the Rocky. It has all sorts of grind settings. I personally only use mine for espresso, but it's got a very, very wide variety. It's got incredible accuracy and it's been working perfectly for me. All right, now to get started, you're gonna take the lid off the water tank and fill that bad boy up. Now this water tank lasted me for, I wanna say about five days at a time, and that's me making coffee once to twice a day for two people. So fantastic capacity, I was super happy with it, and preferably you will put the lid on the correct way the first time, but moving on. Turn on your machine, it'll take several minutes to preheat, but that's no worries, this is your time to relax, to take your shower, to make the rest of your breakfast, to do whatever other morning tasks you have. That flashing light will indicate when the steam boiler is all ready to go. Currently it's flashing while preheating and it will hold a steady lit up color when it is all done. All right, so the machine is just about preheated. As you can tell, I'm doing my morning reading because apparently that's what I do. Anyways, machine is all preheated now. That is the temperature I wanted, but you can play around and find the own settings that fit your needs best. And let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove the porta filter from the group head. This porta filter is really, really nice. I was super happy with the handle. It's got a lot of heft to it. It very, very much feels like I'm working within a cafe, which is the experience I honestly want with a coffee machine. I want my experience at home to be the same as when I was a barista because sometimes I miss it a little bit, I'll be honest. Okay, so now we're using my Akaya Pearl Scale. I bought this recently. This is the same thing we used in the cafe all the time. It's a wonderful scale. It's all around great for using with quarter filters. It's great for drinks. It's great for all those things. Okay, we've got the grinder here. I'm dosing out to about 17 grams. I found for this coffee specifically, that's a really, really nice proportion. And then we're moving over to our tamping mat. Again, I'm gonna link all of these things in the bio for anyone who wants to purchase them, including this tamp mat, which I mentioned before and definitely forgot to link it and a lot of people called me out on it. So I'll fix that. I'm using my distributor tool and then afterwards I'm using the tamp, which was actually included with the espresso machine. So if you're looking for a tamp, might as well buy an espresso machine with it, I guess. Anyways, after I finish that all up, it's time to start our espresso shot. So I'm just gonna slot this back into the group head. I have my two little shot glasses on top, which I probably just bought from Amazon. These are nothing fancy, just your basic standard shot glasses. I get my shot pulling. I pulled this out to about 26 seconds and there we go. Looks pretty yummy. I'm gonna taste this espresso on its own first and then we're gonna get to milk steaming afterwards. Transfer it to a different, very much more drinkable cup and let's have a little look. It had a really nice crema forming on top. I'm just swirling it to release the aromatics slightly and then we'll have that in. Cheers. Also, this mug is handmade. So before anyone asks, I'm sorry I can't link it. It's by a friend of mine and it's wonderful. I love it. Okay, now let's move on to milk steaming and let's show off that magical steam wand that is incredibly powerful. I've got my two pitchers. I've also got my little knock box here from Revel. I had that in my past video. I'm still sticking around with it. It's pretty great. Knock out your past puck and let's go through all those steps again to get a shot of espresso pulling. Also today, I'll be using oat milk because first of all, I don't have any whole milk. Second of all, this is my favorite milk of all time, Pacific Barista Series, please sponsor me. Anyways, fill up your little pitcher to right underneath the spout as usual. I also have a second pitcher here from Slow Pour Supply because if you know me, you know I like to pour with two pitchers after I transfer the milk. We've got our espresso here. We're pouring it into our cup from Lover Amex, by the way, if anyone is curious. After that, we're gonna clamp on a microfiber to our steam wand, open up that steam wand just to release any built up liquid, any leftover milk, any of that, whatever is left up there. Close it off and you're all ready to steam. I dip the wand right underneath the surface of the milk, open up the steam wand all the way, and then for a couple of seconds, I just sit there and let it pull in air. After that, you're gonna see me dunk the steam wand all the way through. Let's see, where is it? 
right about there. And now I'm just focusing on incorporating all that air throughout the main part of the milk. This is a very, very powerful steam wand for a home espresso machine. This will absolutely give you cafe grade milk if you know what you're doing. And since you're gonna have this in your home, it's super, super easy to practice on. So we then clean off our steam wand, drop it back down, and then open up one more time just to make sure we get any of that last minute gunk out. After that, I transfer it to a second larger pitcher and we are all ready to pour. Okay, so I've got my little cup here and let's see what this bad boy can do. Okay, I'm just gonna shut up for a minute. All right, there we go. There's our finished latte. That is an oat milk latte. It is beautiful, it is delicious, and I am super happy with it. Now, a little bit more before I pop off here. So the one thing I did wanna say is this espresso machine is now available for pre-order. So if you're interested in purchasing it or even just learning more about it, it will be the top link in my description or you can check it out on Instagram because I'll be posting about it there too. Hope you enjoyed this updated espresso machine tour. I had a fun time showing it off. I've been working from home for the past couple of weeks. Oh, there we go, Morgan spills coffee. Anyways, I've been working from home and this has been a fantastic setup for me and I hope you enjoyed it too. All right, I will see you all next week and have a good day.